and welcome to this video looking at the Bankers Top 1000 results for 2020, a date which also marks the 50th anniversary of the ranking. This year the ranking feels a bit like the calm before the storm. Based on bank results filed before the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, the overall picture is one of a steady banking industry with stable profits and ample capital. Only next year where we see the full impacts of coronavirus on bank balance sheets. One trend that continues is that of global banking profits moving eastwards to Asia and away from both Europe and North America. China again dominates the ranking with its leading banks increasing both their capital and their profits. Major US banks have mostly stood still or fallen back slightly by the same measures. In Europe, Country results for the UK, France and Germany have been negatively impacted by the poor performance of a few large banks such as HSBC, SG and Deutsche Bank. But in Japan, total profits did increase as a recovery at Mizuhu counted earnings falls at both Mitsubishi UFJ and Sumitomo Mitsui. Africa's banking sector remains small but highly profitable. Returns on capital in Egypt, Nigeria and South Africa are around double the world average. And if, as on current trends, Africa manages to escape the worst effects of the pandemic, the continent may improve its position still further. Because one thing we know for certain, looking back over 50 years of rankings, is that the banks on top today will not necessarily be those on top in a few years' time. Let's take a look at the 2020 results and compare them with those of previous decades. The first table shows that once again, the four big Chinese state banks dominate the ranking with ICBC number one, followed by China Construction Bank, Agricultural Bank of China and Bank of China. Then come the large American banks, JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo and Citigroup, followed by the UK's HSBC and Japan's Mitsubishi UFJ. While the order of the ranking is the same as last year's, the gap between the Chinese and the American banks is wider. In 2019, China's big four banks were 51% larger in capital terms than America's big four. This year, they are 72% larger. The same is true of profits, as we can see from the next table, showing total profits by country. Chinese banking profits have increased to $330 billion from $312 billion last year. That's about a 6% rise. At the same time, US banking profits have fallen slightly and are now only about three quarters of China's. China's profits currently account for nearly one third of total top 1,000 profits. Let's now look back 50 years to 1970 when the banker carried its first ever ranking. You can see from this next table that seven of the top ten banks ranked by assets were American. There were two UK banks, National Westminster and Barclays, and one Italian bank, Banca Nacional de Lavoro. There were no Chinese banks and no Japanese banks. Many names in the 1970 ranking have disappeared, such as Manufacturers Hanover and Chemical Bank, which both became part of JP Morgan Chase. The banking industry and individual banks have both expanded enormously over 50 years. In 1970, Bank of America in first place had assets of just $25 billion. Today's number one bank, ICBC, has assets of over $4,300 billion, making it more than 170 times larger. In the intervening decades, there have been rankings dominated by European banks, such as in 1980, when the French and German banks were especially strong. In 1990, Japanese banks held six of the top ten positions, including first, second and third. Back in 2000, ICBC was the only Chinese bank in the top ten, but its appearance pointed the way to the rise of the Chinese banks to their dominant position today. Let's now look at this moving graph to see how different banks have jostled for position over the last 20 years. Watch the light blue line representing ICBC as it heads upwards from 2009 to reach number one. Citigroup is the dark grey moving downwards from 2006. The UK's HSBC in light turquoise was number one in 2008 but has moved down in stages to ninth position. Japan's Mitsubishi UFJ in pale blue moves from fifth in the mid 2000s to its current tenth place. Finally let's say something about emerging markets. 
which have smaller banking systems, but often very profitable ones. The average return on capital for the top 1,000 is 10%. But banks in Central Asia return 30% on average, and for Africa, the Caribbean and South America, the figures around 20%. And this last table shows the top 10 African banks by tier one capital, with the South African banks occupying the first four places, followed by banks from Egypt, Morocco and Nigeria. Now, African economies can be turbulent, but its largest banks are used to riding out storms and are very stable. Seven of these banks are the same ones that were in the top 10 African banks ranking 10 years ago. The bankers top 1000 World Banks ranking will appear in the July issue of the magazine, along with commentary from the banker's team of editors on what the rankings mean in terms of trends. Our 2020 ranking also features our new best performing banks ranking. This uses a newly developed model to compare leading G20 banks across eight key performance indicators. It highlights the bank's relative strengths and weaknesses going into the COVID-19 crisis and indicates which ones are likely to emerge in better or worse shape. Anyone wishing to order a copy of the July issue and both rankings to digitally can do so at top1000worldbanks.com. The rankings are taken from the Banker database, which contains a much wider range of data than appears in the published ranking. And you can find out more at thebankerdatabase.com.